Hello and welcome. Thank you for letting us be here today with Craft Wine. We're Livery Vino. Myself, I am Ginny Hill and I'm here with my teammate Chad Vandermolen. I'll give a brief intro of myself and then I'll let Chad do an intro for him and we'll dive right in. If you have any questions throughout the process, feel free to throw it in the chat box, um, call it out. We'll give space for questions throughout the presentation as well. So anything you have, throw it our way. So like I said, my name is Ginny Hill. I'm a business development manager with Livery. I started with Livery in March of this year. And prior to that, I worked for our parent company, which is Otter Products. So if you've heard of Otter Box or Life Proof, that's actually the parent company for Livery. And I was a field marketing representative for them in the Bay Area prior to joining the Livery team. But I will let Chad introduce himself and then we can dive right in. You're on mute. Muted. How about now? You're good. Perfect. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm Chad Vandermolen, Business Development Manager with Livery Vino as well. Uh, Jenny and I work together on the Vino space. Um, and yeah, I've been with the company for, uh, since March of last year. Um, and I've been with the parent company, Otter Products, for over seven years now. So I've uh, been able to see all of the progression from the case side of our business into Livery Vino. And uh, really excited to share with you guys um, all that we're doing and how excited we are to, you know, introduce sustainable packaging uh, into this space. Excellent. All right. So hopping right in here. As Chad said, um, you can see the innovation change throughout the history of Otter working on different boxes and processes. So back in um, 1998, they started with the dry box um, over here on the left that you can see, which led to the phone cases that everyone knows and loves today. Um, and in 2017, Otter sort of looked into taking on the outdoor world, the outdoors like in coolers, in tumblers, all sorts of things. And so in that process of looking into coolers and that outdoor realm, they learned a lot about temperature regulation and like basically um, they put it forward into shipping. So whenever we were in the outdoor space, we made these incredible coolers. You can see here, that's a venture cooler. Um, and our engineers just got really creative thinking about how we could apply those like vacuum insulated panels, that temperature regulation to some of these really interesting ways that we ship. So things like medical, um, food, and then into wine. And so what they were able to do is they were able to take what they had learned from that experience with the outdoor realm and apply it to livery. And so they created a box called the Fresh Box. That was the first one. You can see it down there. Um, and it was really to kind of just try out food, essentially, initially. And from there, they created a last mile solution, which is up here, you'll see. Um, and it. I'm going to stop you for a second. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm just seeing the livery Vino screen. I'm not seeing any of the products. Oh, gotcha. OK. So you might have, I don't think you're sharing your screen. It says you're sharing screen. Let's see though. I, all I see is the livery vino and then there's kind of a rainbow on the side. Interesting. Um, maybe stop the screen share and try again. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know that. No problem. Shoot. <laughs> it was working on my end. It was, oh, okay. It, it might just be my connection. Okay. How about, let's see. Can you see that change? Um, it hasn't changed for me. So I'm just wondering maybe if, uh, okay, everybody but me can see it. So it just might be my, um, sorry about that. It's okay. The other, can, the other participants can see as well. Yeah, they, could, they can see it. So that's why cool. I can't see it Perfect. at all. Awesome, no worries. Um, so yeah, we got into a last mile solution up here, which is the, the um, shuttle. And then we were able to kind of retrofit the fresh box to create the Vino box. And we'll talk about that more as we continue on. But it's really fun to see that progression from Otter into the space where we are now. So we have our livery mission right here. Um, and we're really looking at, you know, focusing on those five things that you see at the bottom, really easing customer tension um, and creating, you know, product quality and safety, that awesome customer experience. Um, we do take a consultative approach whenever we work with a winery. 
Um, it's scalable 100% and it's that reuse and sustainability that's so important right now, especially as we look at um, transitioning into green even more so. Mm -hmm. Well, the challenge we found with wine specifically, um, whenever we got into the wine vertical, you know, that there is weather hold months, that sometimes it's either too hot or way too cold to ship that wine, especially ground. And so what we took on was the idea that with these vacuum insulated panels, we'd be able to help maybe like, you'd be able to send wine all year round, uh, ground shipping, so it eases those costs of shipping, but you're also gonna have a really durable box that's gonna keep those wine bottles safe as they ship. So as it says here, we got first world wine problems, right? We've got those temperature holds in a like, couple times throughout the year. So that hot and cold weather that impedes the flow of wine shipments, it's been doing that forever, you now can actually step out of with our livery box solution because it's able to be thermally protective throughout that whole time. So whenever you have these cold months like January, February, and then it gets really hot, right? Like right now, then you're still able to ship. And even in areas like Arizona, Florida, those places that just stay hot, livery is an excellent solution for keeping your wine in those really safe conditions. So here you'll see a graph where it kind of goes over the cost effective and thermally protective. It just gives you a nice visual here. So you're looking at, right, you have your scale, you have inexpensive to expensive, low performance to high performance. Um, you have your ground shipping, which is traditionally right here, a low performance, but inexpensive versus your expensive, right? Your, your, um, your air and your cooler, transport in trucks, right? Those are much more expensive. And so livery actually provides the opportunity to kind of go in the middle where you can do ground shipping, um, but you also are able to keep your wine in a temperature safe space and keep it safe in general. So it, if you look at this, right, livery is gonna live up in here where it's high performance. So for if you have high end clientele, um, but also a more inexpensive way to do that as opposed to that air or those cold chain options. And there's livery vino. So really with the packaging challenges, as we've all seen, if you've gotten um, food meals delivered to you or chewy, they send packaging like crazy. Um, here you'll see this is all from wine. So on the right, you'll see that's just packages of one of our colleagues had gotten wine and saved all that had come from the packaging. And so the challenges that we hear constantly, right, that customers desire more sustainable green options. They don't like styrofoam. They don't, because you can't recycle it. They don't like having to throw away all this stuff every time they receive um, a shipment of wine. Um, and then those weather holds make operating efficiently and planning really challenging. And so as you've done for years and years and years, you've planned through those weather hold months um, so that you could get your wine in a safe temperature to those clients. Um, and livery really solves for most for all of these things which is fantastic so the last mile is the weakest link in the system so even if you do that shipping with a cold chain or um, the fedex air you still have last mile where it can get really hot and so the livery box actually keeps it cool that entire process which is great um, and it's also got that uh, the protection our engineers had an excellent time building and testing out this box, dropping it with wine in it to make sure that no matter what way, like however FedEx might handle it, the wine that is inside will remain safe so that when it gets to your customer, there's no leakage, there's no spills. And from there, I'll hand it to Chad. Thanks, Ginny. Uh, consumer research. So as we embarked on this uh, adventure of livery vino, uh, we, we actually launched last February, but prior to that, we did extensive consumer research to understand really the need for reusable packaging uh, and understand uh, what kind of demand was out there and really wanted to make sure we did our due diligence uh, prior to launching this product within the industry. So Jenny, if you can go to the next slide. Um, so what we did is we pulled a group of 100 people um, who have wine that costs 
at least $40 a bottle delivered to their home or office uh, more than four times a year. And so, you know, for us, it was really just getting a general understanding of what the demand was, like I said, and uh, the, the results were pretty resounding in our favor. So what, what came from it was that 90% of the folks polled liked the idea of a reusable shipping container very much. 86% of those people polled uh, would likely recommend a company that uses a reusable shipping cooler. So wineries that have come on board or would potentially come on board, 86% of their customers uh, would suggest their winery to other uh, friends or family or whoever. So that was exciting to read too. Um, additionally, 66% uh, of the people polled would pay extra to use a reusable shipping container an average of eight dollars more so what we learned from this was that you know yes the initial cost of our box might be a little bit higher than um standard corrugator styrofoam however consumers really like the green element and understand the environmental impact that the current packaging solutions have on on the on the environment and they would be willing to use a more green solution so for us that that gave us the uh encouragement and excitement that going out and speaking with different wineries fulfillment houses whoever uh, that you know the demand from consumers even with a cost increase uh would still be willing to uh use a solution like livery vino so that was all very exciting for us to to see those results jenny you want to go to the next yeah thank you Additionally, um, shipping condition concerns. So asking the same group of people uh, these questions. Uh, concern that the wine will be damaged due to extreme temperatures in, while in transit, 88%. So nearly everyone was concerned that their wine would show up in an unsafe temperature range. So uh, that's really where we're focused on our product is ensuring that the wine will show up as it's intended to, as you created it and as you bottled it and, and uh, will arrive in a way that the consumer will experience it the way that you fully intended to. So additionally, very inconvenienced by summer and winter wine holds that prevent year round delivery. People want their wine. 90% of people say that they want their wine when they're ordering it. They would want uh, to get their wine in a more rapid pace. They would want to get it if they're in the middle of summer coming to visit your winery and they have a great experience. They don't want to wait a few months to get their bottles shipped to them. They want, uh, they want their wine now. They want to continue that experience. They want to share their experience with their friends and family uh, and, and continue to get people excited about the wine that they tasted in their trip. So that was really, really exciting to see. Uh, additionally, consumers who would buy more wine online all year with a temperature safe container was 85%. I mean, that's just that's just numbers that are gold to all of our ears, right? We want to increase the amount of wine and increase the amount of revenue coming in year round. And it just shows that um, people are willing to do it and excited to do it and wanting to do it. So um, with these three numbers here, um, obviously above the 80% range of the people polled, um, it just shows uh, people are excited to get their wine and they would love to get it as often and as, uh, as frequent as they, as they possibly can. Uh, continued, we asked the question, which statement best describes the impact that a reusable shipping cooler will have on your decision to purchase wine online? And 57% 50 of those people polled said I would shift to purchasing more wine online year round and replace significant portion, portion of my local wine buying. So what that means for us is that people are willing to buy more wine online from you versus going to Safeway or Albertsons or anywhere to purchase their wine. They want, if there's an option to be able to get their wine year round from their favorite winery, they would rather do that versus having to go to the store and uh, pick it up themselves. So pretty cool information that came back from our um, consumer research and really validated what we were trying to do. And, you know, we're, we're very excited to show you the product and, and work with you and, and really uh, provide you and your consumers with uh, a year round packaging solution uh, to really encourage people to buy more wine from you. 
oh, and our value pop proposition, sorry. Uh, really, our whole goal is to ensure the wine arrives safely. Um, in, in the hottest months of the year, the coldest months of the year, um, our boxes will ensure that um, year round, you're able to get wine to wherever it needs to go, to whoever wants it, uh, any time of the year. Uh, while doing so, it's going to reduce your weather holds. Um, that way, you're not storing wine for a longer period of time than you need to. You can produce it, bottle it, and get it out. Uh, we know storage costs are, are up. So, um, you know, being able to get some of that wine out is always advantageous. And then, naturally, our, our solution being a reusable solution uh, cuts down on single use packaging waste, uh, which ultimately. Um, adds to the user experience, the consumer's experience, right? Um, opening up your wine, being very excited about getting it, and then having a bunch of single-use packaging waste that you have to break down, recycle, put it in your bin, fill up your bin, uh, anything like that uh, is now eliminated with using Livery Vino. And so, um, you know, in our pilot program and all the customers that we have currently, uh, that's been uh, a continued success story is how excited people are that they don't have to throw away a bunch of stuff and that they can just return the box to the winery. So, yeah. How does that, how does that work, uh, the, the return portion? Does, do they get the box, open it, and do they have to drop it off at the post office or do they come back and pick it up or FedEx, not post office, but um, how does that process work? Yeah, very good question. Jenny, you want to go to the FedEx slide? So what we've done, um, because we're such a great partner of FedEx from our case side of our business through OtterBox, we're number three or four in priority shipping with them um, in the world. So we do a ton of business with FedEx. So luckily for us, we were able to negotiate uh, with FedEx a flat rate uh, return shipping program of $12. Um, so ultimately what will happen is you'll get set up with FedEx um, and have an account specific to livery. It'll be outside of your current FedEx ra uh, rates. Um, it won't affect any of your negotiated rates that you have currently. Uh, it'll just be an add-on to that. And what that'll do is uh, it will allow for the box itself to come back anywhere in the country to the winery uh, for $12 versus having to pay dim weight or anything like that. Uh, what you're able to do is there's multiple ways to get the box back. One is yes, you can go put it right at a FedEx um, location and they'll ship it right back to the winery. Two, you can call our customer service uh, and we will set up a, a pickup for, for the uh, consumer's home. Uh, or you can go to FedEx.com and pick a, uh, set up a pickup yourself. Um, we, we have collateral that we will, Jennifer will send to you after this, that'll show exact, it'll outline it very clearly. Um, but yeah, we have that negotiated rate that we're able to extend to any of our customers wanting to use, um, livery vino, which is very exciting. Additionally, um, FedEx has agreed to waive any sort of special handling fee waivers for shipping in a non corrugated box which typically is $13 uh, each shipment. So ultimately you're saving $26 uh, round trip per shipment. So that's very exciting. We're glad that they were willing to do that with us. Um, and then Jenny and I have a great, great relationship with all the FedEx wine team. Um, and so what we will do, uh, and I know we'll get to this, but our whole goal is to have this be a complete partnership. We're not just gonna open up a book and say, how many units do you want? Um, here's your price break. No, this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna look at the whole operation. We're gonna look at um, everything from FedEx to implementation of the box within your, within your packout process uh, and really be there every step of the way. So what we'll do is we will make the introduction to the FedEx rep if you don't have one already. Uh, and we will work with their, them and the world accounts team uh, to ensure that your account gets set up with this, uh, with this program. So, um, yeah, we're, we're excited to be partners with, with anyone and everyone. So, uh, yeah, that's how you get the box back. Cool. That's awesome. Do you have any other questions there, Jennifer? Um, where do you, where do you, is most of your sales at this point concentrated? Um, how many wineries are you working with? Uh, like 
I'm just curious. Um, I know California in the summer and anywhere really in the summer, other than I don't know who would be not a candidate. <laughs> um, but in the winter, what are your what are your regions that you are most uh, in? Like, yeah, no, it, that's a really good question. And right now, um, so we like I said, we launched Livery Vino back in April, uh, February of this year. And so um, what we've done is we've spent most of our time in Northern California. That's, mm -hmm. you know, the largest number of wineries and, and all that there. Um, additionally, we have a number of partners that we're working with in Washington and Oregon. Um, and as we've continued to gain momentum, we've, we've been placed in Forbes, we've been placed um, in Wine Business Monthly. Uh, what we're doing is we're seeing people from all over the country now start to come in to want to use this solution. Um, we have a number of wineries in Texas, um, you know, so uh, it's really right now all over, all over the place. However, to be more specific, I would say Northern California is really where uh, a majority of our customers are currently. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's also Ginny's up there. When I first got brought on, that's where I was spending most of my time. Um, so yeah, we're like, like you just said, we're willing to pick up the phone and talk to anyone from wherever. And uh, yeah. we're, we're just really excited. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, of some of our members and some of the wineries that I know of in Eastern Washington and parts of Oregon or like Umpqua Valley, because in winter they they definitely have um, some impact from the weather. So I think I really also like the fact that, you know, just the sustainability part of it and the consumer testing that you did just because, you know, really more people are going to be buying wine online now. So um, you know, if they're really attracted to that sustainability, especially at the, in the price point that you're talking about, I, then I think that it, it's a worthwhile endeavor for a winery to invest in that just for the marketing potential. Yeah, exactly. And Ginny, um, I know Ginny has some product stuff with charts and graphs of temperature control and how it all works. So um, yeah. we'll be able to speak to that a little bit more as well. Okay. Yeah, so the solution, as we're all excited about it. <laughs> um, so this is the Livery Vino boxes. So as the features, we'll run through them. You'll see a four bottle over here on the right and a six bottle. Remember the four bottle was created from that fresh box. So it is a retrofit. Um, the six bottle was created very specifically for wine. So you'll see some differences in them. But as far as the features go, you've got durable wine inserts that fit most bottle sizes. So Burgundy, Bordeaux, Riesling, um, our engineering team tried to test every single wine bottle they could find to make sure that it would fit in these inserts really well so that your wine wouldn't like rattle around or be impacted by any falls. Um, so Livery Vino 6 accommodates, can now accommodate two sparkling size bottles. So if you are in the business of shipping sparkling, um, our new insert for Vino 6 does have an option for that. You can also just do regular wine in there too. So if you only ship sparkling every now and then, that's absolutely fine. You can still use those slots for regular wine bottles as well, and they'll still be safe. Um, the reusable wine tote is an option that some people go for, and it can help facilitate removal of wine and the return of the box. So you would basically, you get the box at your door, you would pull out your wine, you would put it in the reusable tote, you would take the tote in your house, and then you could essentially just like leave the box outside, put the return label on it, and like Chad said, use one of the ways to get FedEx to come pick up the box. It also has so an integrated coolant solution. I know it's like 99% water essentially, and it's reusable. So there's no more of that cutting open the package and dumping it down the drain and hoping that like you're not actually destroying the environment kind of things. Um, they're reusable coolant. And so you can see with the Vino 6, there's the one in the center. Um, with the Vino 4, they're going to be around the outside panels. So they also have the secure um, quick clip latches for easy open and close. They're just literally, um, like you'll see them up here, these yellow latches. They are so easy to use and so cool, but it also comes with um, the, you have a little, they have little holes on the side and the front to where you can do tamper evident um, zip ties, or there's even some people who like, if they really want that customer experience, will do like a little uh, lock with a code that you can put into it, just to make sure that the wine doesn't, although it will not open because of the clips, 
but it just makes sure that no one else will be able to get into that, right? It's that temper evident, keep your wine safe concept. It also has removable lids for simple nestable storage. So these do nest up to 40%. Um, so you can see that here that they do nest and those lids do come off. So with that, we have that square box circular mindset. We're going for that eco-friendly all the way. So the reuse model is environmentally preferable to single use styrofoam and corrugate, like we've talked about, and there's no ice packs that you have to dis dispose of. You would include the return shipping label. And so the customer would basically take out that return shipping label, slap it on, and the box would come back to you or your distribution center. Um, the box and the inserts themselves are recyclable uh, at the end of life. So ideally what would happen is the box would get sent back to us after its life cycle and we would recycle it and turn it into more livery boxes. And um, the ice packs, like I said, they're reusable, which is fantastic. So continuing with features, because these are so cool, um, they're the leading thermal performance, like I touched on initially when I talked about our outdoor gear, we have vacuum insulated panels um, and they're aerospace grade for thermal protection. So it's five days of thermal protection, um, which basically more than triples the capabilities of the industry standard styrofoam. Um, and it really eliminates that wine temperature oscillation that can happen during shipment. So the thermal testing expertise we've done, um, we can advise on optimal coolant solutions for your specific applications, right, based on whatever you're shipping. So with this Vino 6 you're seeing here, that ice is very efficient, it's in the center, and you only have that one, um, and it keeps all of this cool during shipping. And the drop protection, this is one of my favorite parts, because I just imagine our engineers having the best time doing this. Um, but it does exceed FedEx requirements that are drop, vibration, and compression testing. Um, it's a dur durable polypropylene construction, so it can withstand abuse. And the rugged design um, can withstand up to two plus years and 75 round trip like shipping cycles in the small parcel shipping network. And here you can look at some temperature uh, tests that we have done. So this is just versus the standard styrofoam shipper for wine. Um, and it's looking at nationwide shipping via five day ground, as you can see. We've got one that's the summer. So it's, you're looking at hot, right? With coolant that's in there. And here you can see the oscillation of the temperature outside during the day. Um, you can see the styrofoam shipper really heat up around day two. And you can see that our livery vino shipper doesn't, or it stays in that very, it stays in that safe zone much longer, right? Up into five into seven days. So you're looking at that there. Now here, this is no, oh, sorry. Um, this is winter, so there's no coolant. So you can ship these boxes, say for example, like you said, Jennifer, um, when it gets really cold, you can leave the coolant out of it. And so what you'd see is, right, that it keeps the wine safe in that temperature range where here your styrofoam shipper rate drops very, very quickly. So it's really cool with this one is like in the winter, like I said, you don't have to have that ice pack. So it's a little bit lighter, um, but it still is able to, since the vacuum insulated panels are part of it, keep it in that very safe range. So these are the product specs on the boxes. So this is the boxes closed. You can kind of get a sense for what they look like. So the livery Vino 4, um, you got your dimensions, your weights there. And remember, since that is a retrofit, the weight and the things as we compare them might look interesting. And it's because the livery Vino 6 was built specifically for this. So it's a little bit more efficient in what it does. So for example, like with the coolant is um, lighter in the Vino 6, whereas in the Vino 4, you have four separate panels um, but those are the differences there. And so with wine and coolant for the Vino 4, you're looking at 36. And then on this one with six bottles, you're looking at 39. So it is a little bit more efficient there. And we can send you guys all this information as well at any time. And I'll hand it over to Chad. Thanks. Yeah. So we've talked a lot about sustainability and that's really one of our main goals with uh, Livery Vino and Livery as a whole is really creating a solution that's better for the environment. Uh, and not only did we assume that uh, reusable shipping, reusable packaging was better for the environment than single use packaging. Uh, we wanted to have a third party company come in and run a test 
on our products versus single use competition. And so what we did is we uh, had a company called ThinkStep come in and run a life cycle assessment on our boxes and compare that to a single use competition. And the next slide will show our results. So anytime you have a third party come in and test our product or your product, uh, you're gonna hold your breath. You don't necessarily know exactly what's gonna come back. However, when these results came back, we were very, very excited. Um, of the nine different categories that uh, ThinkStep uh, tested upon, uh, seven of them came back favorable, significantly favorable for Livery Vino, which was very exciting. Uh, the two that weren't favorable in our, our situation, um, ultimately our moot point because it was under 5% variance. And so it wasn't able to give a categorical uh, positive or negative um, uh, result. So for us, we are very excited. Uh, it just shows that reusable packaging is something that is better for the environment all the way around from creation to delivery. Uh, so this is something that we're very proud of. It's something that allows us to put some facts behind what we're saying. Um, and really show uh, that we're doing some good for um, for the environment with our with our solution. So uh, we can certainly, as Jenny said, we will send this out to to everyone. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, definitely reach out. Awesome. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can go ahead and put it in the chat, um, and we'll see it. Yeah. I know we talked about FedEx already. So we'll hop into our craft wine association portion of like the pricing, right? So the standard MSRP for livery Vino 6 is $274.99 and for Vino 4 it's $229.99. So just stopping right there um, to avoid sticker shock, if you break down that price for Vino 6 even, it comes down to about $3.60 per shipment over a two year, two year cycle. And so based on that, right, we're able to um, really cut down on shipping costs, but it is over time. Now with Craft Wine, since you're a Craft Wine member, um, there's, you guys will receive 15% off. And so it drops that price per box um, to 233.74 for the Vino 6 or um, 195.49 for Vino 4. And so you would break that down over that two year life cycle as well, which basically means, right, that cost of packaging per shipment will continue to go down after every shipment, which is incredible. Um, so a big part of what Chad had said initially is that we really do wanna create a partnership. That's the beauty of livery in its state right now. And so we offer options to outright purchase, you can finance monthly, or you can do a subscription. So for example, with weather hold months, if you wanna just get them for you know four to five months, we can offer that as well. And it just depends on the needs of the winery and what you're trying to accomplish. So the livery boxes are covered under our two year product warranty. Otter has and livery have one of the best uh, warranties I've ever experienced in a company. If there's anything that breaks, you give us a call, we'll shoot another one to you um, with no questions really. It's we're there to support any, anything that happens to those boxes. Um, furthermore, Livery offers, as Chad said, that full partnership proposal that we tailor to your winery that we really want to ensure success for both parties, right? We want you to be successful. We want your customers to feel really cool with this like new um, customer experience of receiving wine. And we want to be there to help. We want to be there to support and we want to be successful as well. So as Chad said too, there's no catalog selling or volume plays that we would say to you. We don't just like sell you, sell to you and leave you to figure it out. Um, what we do uh, like to do is determine those uh, implementation costs. Uh, we can talk about like volume incentive rebates. We work with you throughout the entire process, you know, of understanding your operations to, you know, everything down to space and how you store it. Um, we will help make manage that in in your proposal and so we also have a team of engineering experts that are more than willing to hop on a plane come and see you if that's something that you're interested in or show them a video of your warehouse your space whatever you're doing and they can provide insight on storage um, on freezers on any of that 
We also have an 80 person marketing team at Otter at our disposal that honestly has created fantastic materials from, you know, engaging customers to see if they'd even be interested with like surveys to educating them on how this box works, how to return it, and also getting them excited about it to all the way um, at the end of like customer satisfaction and how we can build that out. So we can do, we can build marketing for you so that you can have that really um, awesome like marketing build up with a new product and how someone receives the wine. Um, but you're also supported with marketing throughout it. So you can put it on your social, right? We're there to support that. And our marketing team has created some really incredible pieces, um, very specific to each winery that we've worked with. Do you have anything to add there, Chad? No, I would just continue to echo, you know, for us, this is a full partnership. We're going to be there at start to finish. We're going to be there in conversations with FedEx if need be. Um, you know, our, our goal is to ensure your success. And if you're successful, we're successful. And so uh, we're going to do whatever we can to, to implement this in a way that makes the most sense for you. And as Jenny mentioned with those uh, purchase options, um, you know, our company is behind us and want to make sure that we're able to be flexible to the needs of our customers. So it's something that we're very fortunate to have behind us. And, uh, and yeah, like Jenny said, you know, if you break down the cost of these uh, over the lifespan of the box, you're looking at $3 uh, for per packaging per shipment. I mean, um, for the most part, that's going to be much lower than uh, current packaging solutions. So um, again, you know, we're here, we want to support you in any way that we can. And uh, we're, we're really excited to start working with you. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, we haven't had any questions. So um, if there are any, please put them in the chat box. Um, I think it's all, I think it's really interesting. I think that the marketing potential is probably the most intriguing, just, you know, the fact that you've done so much research and, and you know that, that customers in that bottle price range are really interested in having that sustainability and knowing that the temperature is going to be consistent um, and that that makes them feel more comfortable purchasing online. I think that's awesome. But we love it. Yeah. And for everybody that's attending the webinar, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, we're recording. So we'll go ahead and send this recording on. Plus, it'll be posted on our uh, media site at smallbatters.net. Um, and it'll go out in an email um, to our larger list. So I think this is going to be a great solution for a lot of people. I agree. And well, I just want to throw one more piece out. Um, you know, this presentation is great and everything, um, but there's no better way to uh, experience our boxes than having one in front of you. So if anyone would like a sample, uh, work with Jenny and I, and we will certainly get a sample out to you so that you can touch it, feel it, uh, run it through your operation, anything like that. We, uh, we're, we're, like I said, we're wanting to make sure that this is something that makes sense. Uh, and something that is feasible for your operation. And we're, we're confident in the product itself. So, um, you know, we're happy to get one out too. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, I think that we are, if you're finished with the presentation, I think we're ready to end the webinar and we'll go ahead and do our follow-up in a couple of days. Great. Great. All right. Thank you.